Josie is nervously awaiting a response from Liam about the budget for her new influencer campaign. Oh, here comes the email. Dare she open it? Yes! Congratulations, Josie! Um, I do hate to bring down the mood, but please ensure you don't make any foolish mistakes in your ecstatic state. Josie proceeds to attach all of her precious influencers in an email, informing them about her exciting new campaign. Wait, let's look at that email again. Josie, you were meant to create a new email conversation rather than just forwarding the email from Liam, as this contained the marketing budget. Probably best that information doesn't get compromised. <sighs> At least you pasted the influencer emails in the BCC field and not the CC. Oh wait, you haven't. This allows all the recipients to see the email addresses of the other recipients, compromising their privacy. I just hope that no shady individuals manage to swindle their way onto Josie's list of influencers. Blast! Of course it's you, Cyberto! Another month, another influencer campaign. I'm sure Josie will be extra vigilant this time. New email conversation? Check. No confidential information attached? Check. Are the recipients pasted in the BCC field rather than CC? And that's another big fat check. I'm sorry I doubted you, Josie. That is one secure response. Check that you have typed your recipients' email addresses correctly. Ensure you have used the BCC field if you do not want the recipients to see each other's email addresses. Double check that you have not forwarded any confidential information further down the email chain or in attachments. When sending emails outside the organization, it's safest to always start with a new email thread.